I played, I, I kept my patience. Like, I kept my anger in at the time when you know you're supposed to spaz. So it's like, this little shit now, this shit, this nothing, this nothing. These are, it's like, it don't, it don't matter to me. It's nothing to me. Some call Young Thug the most influential rapper of this century. The American rapper and musician quickly became one of the most talked about figures in the hip hop industry after his gigantic rise in 2013. His rap style has been deemed unique by many, but some even call him the finest rapper from Atlanta. In 2019, Jeffrey won his first Grammy for his contribution as a songwriter in Childish Gambino's This Is America. Everything was going well for the rapper until May of 2022. In May 2022, the rapper got arrested because of his affiliation with the notorious street gang YSL. His bail request has been rejected, and his fans are worried that he won't survive much longer in jail. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone, then all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! First Home Raid The police have been on to Young Thug for quite some time now. They first raided his home back in April of 2017. There, they found various kinds of drugs and unlicensed firearms. Eventually, the police had to drop the charges because they conducted a raid without a search warrant. That same month, he was also sued by Heritage Select Homes. They claimed he hadn't paid them for $2.2 million for the houses he bought. Busted dealing drugs. Later that same year, the Atlanta rapper got handcuffed again in Georgia because of multiple drug possession charges. He was released on bond a few days later. The next year, he got arrested with intent to distribute meth, hydrocodone, and marijuana. Young Thug also had a firearm in his possession. The Big Gang Indictment. In May of 2022, the rapper and his 26 associates, including Gunna, got arrested in Atlanta for multiple gang-related charges. The police locked them up on multiple charges that include drugs, racketeering, firearm possession, and even alleged murders. The prosecutor accused Young Thug is a crime lord who only raps to remain in the public eye, which he uses for his protection. After he got arrested, the police raided his home and seven other felonies were added to his charge sheet. Is the YSL label really an alias for the YSL street gang? In 2016, Young Thug founded a record label called YSL. Since its formation, the crime rate in Atlanta has increased exponentially, which has convinced the police that this is just a front for the street gang. Thug's lawyer said that Thug's YSL is an abbreviation for Young Stoner Life, but the court wasn't convinced. According to the prosecutors, Thug is using this music label as a way to recruit young, naive rappers who he would then use in his crime ring. When nothing was working, Thug's lawyer even tried to negotiate that he will stay under house arrest with an electronic ankle monitor. He also said that the court can keep officers outside his home 24-7 to keep an eye on him. Yet, nothing seemed to work and no bond was set to get him released. His lawyer even said that due to being famous and rich, there's a significant threat to Thug's life inside the jail, but no one listened. To keep him inside the jail for as long as possible, the lawyers are relying on delaying the trial date that they've cited security reasons for not granting him bail. The prosecutors have said that Young Thug and his fellow rapper Gunna are high-ranking members of the crime syndicate YSL, and getting them out would put the witness's life at risk. No bails are being granted. Since May of 2022, Young Thug's lawyer has applied for bail three times, but every time it gets rejected. After this, Thug and his lawyers asked for a speedy trial, which was then given the date of January 2023. However, the prosecutors made the court push until March 2023. His lawyer tried really hard to get the trial back into January, but couldn't do that. And he said, it's just unjust that Young Thug rots in the county jail and has not yet been provided complete discovery by the prosecution and is being required to wait on the appointment of counsel for co-indictees. Lyrics about murder are being used as evidence. Every rapper who's been put in jail always was at the disadvantage of uttering lyrics that were used against him in court. The case of Young Thug is also no different. The prosecutors have quoted many of his lyrics and deemed them as indirect confession and bragging about his hits. Lyrics from his popular songs like Slime Shit, Original Slime Shit, and various others are being presented as valid evidence. This has once again ignited the discussion that why only marginalized groups like African American and Latino rappers are exclusively targeted about what they say in songs. Many notable personalities like Drake, Kanye, Kendrick, and Lil Wayne 
have come in support of the Protect the Black Art movement, which is meant to keep art as art and not get exploited in court. Due to these lyrics, the prosecutors have made the court reject multiple bond requests. On the basis of some lyrics, the prosecutors have really made it impossible for Thug to get out of jail before a trial. Kanye's announcement regarding Young Thug's trial. In September of 2022, Kanye announced that he was looking to open multiple retail outlets for his brand Yeezy. Young Thug saw that post and posted a story in which he offered his 100 acres of land in Georgia for Kanye's business venture that, too, completely free of charge. This made Kanye chat with ASAP Barry about getting Thug out of jail. West even mentioned that if needed, he'll be taking his ex-wife Kim's help, who is now close to becoming a lawyer. The reason why Kim pursued law was to help prisoners who were wrongly accused. West thought this case would be right up Kim's alley. However, no remarks have been given from Kim's side. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below what you think will happen when Young Thug's trial. Let us know your thoughts below on the whole video. Don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.